Hey, what? <coughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Join the growing family. Make sure you turn notifications on. And while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now, today I wanted to talk about my worst psych admission. And as you can imagine, this is gonna be spilling some tea. Get on with the video. So to anyone who doesn't know, I am a mental health YouTuber and I've been admitted to psych wards on and off for the last six years while I've lived in London. I've had various experiences. I've had some good experiences, I've had some horrible experiences and I've had the worst experience. And today we're talking about the worst experience. But while, while I'm talking, I want to say I do have a Patreon where I post one Patreon only video every other week. Or rather that's what I aim to do. I haven't been doing it recently because I haven't known what to film. I'm short of ideas so if you do have any ideas for videos comment it down below. But I do have a Patreon and it would mean the world to me if you could go support that. I'll link it on the iCard up there and I'll put it in the description down below. If you want to make a one-time donation my PayPal is in the description down below. The worst admission I had was to a hospital at St Mary's Hospital or you know, Queen Mary's Hospital and it's called Rose Ward. I literally don't know how to even start this because I was put onto a section 2 of the Mental Health Act. The first day I was there everything was fine. I was allowed my stuff. I was, wasn't on one to one. I was just going about my day. I went to sleep. Got woke up at 7am the day after and they stripped the room. And they said it's policy. I've been admitted to this ward once before and they took my phone off me for an un unlawfully as well so complaints were made. Basically the psychiatrist had said that I was too high risk to have anything even though she hadn't spoke to me and the psychiatrist on this ward doesn't like me. It, it, just based on previous admissions that I've had there her advice for my depression at the time was to just motivate yourself. That's a thing I could do when I'm depressed. But yeah, they stripped my room. They took the cover, the duvet off me. They took the pillow off me. They left me with a plastic mattress and my phone. Thank God they left me with my phone because I would have got, I would have gone absolutely mad. And then they took back my phone. I can't remember if I was allowed to keep my laptop or not. That's, I can't remember, I don't think I was allowed to keep my laptop. But I don't remember, so I'm not going to say that. But it, it was it was awful. And then when I went to bed the next night, they bought me a duvet. Without a cover on. And a pillow without a cover on. And I was like, can I have a cover? Because I literally can't touch the fabric of a... a of a duvet because it tr just triggers my sensory processing disorder I just can't deal with the texture and they said no so I ripped a curtain off the wall and I put it I opened it up at the bottom and I put it in the duvet turned it around slept with the bottom of the curtain right by my face which really unhygienic don't do that the next day they came and bought me all my stuff back and then this, that night they came and stripped my room again. There's just nothing to it. Like, why do they keep stripping my bedroom? I am not doing anything to myself or others. I also wasn't eating because I can't eat in public properly. It's something I'm working on. That's why I get for me out on my own now. I'm trying to break that anxiety wall down. Yeah, that admission was just horrific. And... I did get in trouble for tearing the curtain down and I did have to pay for them to get refitted. So learn my mistakes, don't do that. But I packed it, I had to do it because I I wouldn't have been able to touch the bed. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. Why I'm saying this is the worst admission is because there was no communication between the psychiatrist and the staff, the staff and me. 
I never knew what was going on. I was, I was terrified they were going to take my phone off me. And it was just horrific. I really wouldn't recommend that hospital. The hospital treated me like shit. I don't recall if I was actually sectioned or not. I can't remember. I'm doubting whether I was sectioned or not. Because I was only in there for a week. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Let me check my notes. I was not sectioned. I'm, I'm, I'm mistaken. I was not sectioned. I was informal. It actually makes matters worse in a way because when you're informal, you're you're in the hospital voluntarily, you're not that being held under an act. So you actually have every right to leave. And if you have the right to leave, you should have the right to have your stuff. That was the worst admission I had. Just because of, it was so uncertain and it was so abusive. Because every time they stripped my room, I kicked off. So that I got restrained and I got sedated. Which is also wrong because when you're informal, you actually have the right to refuse medication. They just completely ignored that. Maybe they thought I was sectioned, I don't know. But according to my notes, I was not sectioned. So. I don't know what went on there. Yeah, psych hospitals aren't fun. I wouldn't recommend them. <laughs> they're not a get. They're not a grippy sock vacation. They're not a little holiday. They're not a restful place. Psych wards are loud and abusive. If you haven't seen my other videos I've done on psych wards, I'll link the playlist up there. Thank you for watching this video and if you're new, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.